Hey guys, Eat Sleep Shift here. I'll be showing you guys how to restore your faded headlights. Now in order to start, you're gonna to need to buy a few things. It's only gonna cost you about 10 to $20. What you need is a water bottle or a water source or a water spray, a clean cloth or some wipes, scissors, a garbage bag, clear spray paint, masking tape and sandpaper. We'll be using a 400 grit, a 600 grit and a 1000 grit sandpaper. Now I'll be working on this Astra with faded headlights. It's got scratches and dirt marks that don't come off. It's also very faded from the sun. First I'm going to give it a wipe and also wipe around the headlights. After that the next step is to put masking tape around the borders of the headlight so that you don't scratch the paint. I'll be starting off with the 400 grit sandpaper. You want to do a wet sand so you don't get big scratches. So I'll be wetting the headlight and also wetting the sandpaper in order to get finer scratches. Be sure to move in both vertical and horizontal directions. You can also go in circles and swirls. You want to make sure it's wet, so spray some water as it dries out. The next step after this is to use the 600 grit sandpaper and repeat the same step. Make sure to wet the headlights as you're doing it. And then finally, I'll be using the 1000 grit and doing the same process all over again. Some people might also want to do another step and use a 2000 grit to get a finer result, but it's not going to make a big difference, so that's up to you. But be sure that when you're finishing, you want to go in a consistent direction. So that could be vertical, it could be horizontal, it's up to you. Now once you're finished with the sanding, make sure to wipe the headlight down nice and clean. Make sure that your cloth has no oil or moisture. You want to make sure that the headlight is nice and dry and clean. It's very important that you replace your masking tape if it's wet or if it's coming off. Otherwise you might get overspray on your paintwork. The next step is to get your garbage bag and stick it onto your headlight to make sure that you don't get any overspray on your paintwork. If your garbage bag is small, you can cut it in half to make it larger. I won't be doing that because my garbage bag is fairly large. If you don't have any garbage bags at home, you can also do this with old newspapers. Make sure to stick it on properly, otherwise you might have to repeat all of the steps again. Cut the headlight shape out of the plastic bag. To do this, poke a hole and use your scissors to cut through. After doing so, stick your garbage bag onto the masking tape that you already had. By doing so, you'll prevent any overspray going onto your paint. Once you've finished, 
grab your clear coat and read the instructions on the back of the can. This one tells me to shake it completely and then spray two or three layers. Spray your first layer and see if it's necessary to spray a second. You want to make sure you don't get any leaks, so don't spray it too close or too much. You can really see it shine on the first layer, but once we spray a second and a third, it's going to look a lot better. Make sure you wait 5 or 10 minutes in between each layer so that each layer can dry. This is the final result. It looks amazing. I'm very happy how it turned out. I hope you can achieve the same. After this step, some people might do a 3000 grit sand and polish it up with a hand polish or a cut and polish. But if you don't have the time, money and resources, you don't have to bother with that step as it looks perfect as it is. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to my channel.